For a few hours on Friday, Rostov-on-Don in southern Russia became the center of the media universe. Busloads of journalists from far and wide came to see and hear a man whose whereabouts have been the subject of intense speculation for days. A man who still speaks as if he's president. Nobody ousted me. I was forced to leave Ukraine because my life and the lives of those dear to me were under threat. As you are aware, power in Ukraine has been seized by nationalists, pro-fascist youngsters representing a minority in Ukraine. Of the crisis in Crimea, Viktor Yanukovych had this to say. I call on Crimeans to prevent bloodshed and quarrelling. And as an acting president, I want to declare that Crimea must remain part of the Ukrainian government, preserving its autonomy. He said he hadn't ordered police to fire on protesters in Independence Square, but regretted he hadn't had the power or strength to keep Ukraine stable. Russia, he feels, should help. I think Russia must act, and knowing the character of Vladimir Putin, I'm surprised that he has been so silent. This is a question. He urged against military intervention, but said he intends to keep fighting for the future of a country that is no longer safe for him. So the man still calling himself the legitimate president of Ukraine has spoken. But what he said is unlikely to have changed many minds, particularly those of the people in Kiev currently holding the reins of power, trying to keep their country together. For them, Ukraine's future may be worrying and it may be uncertain. But the one thing they're sure of is that it doesn't include Viktor Yanukovych. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Rostov-on-Don in southern Russia.